Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to install a Tagus A server on a Windows system using the web installer. Before we begin, let's go over some prerequisites required for Tagus A server. First is a Windows operating system, 32 or 64 bit, and we recommend Windows 7 or newer, something supported by Microsoft. Second, you'll need Java Development Kit installed. Oracle is the suggestion, however you may use OpenJDK as well. It must be version 8 or later. And finally, you must be logged in with an administrator logon. If you do not have administrator privileges, you will not be able to install TigerSA properly. Now that the prerequisites are taken care of, let's go ahead and download a copy of TigerSA server onto our computer. In this case, we're going to download the TigerSA Server Distribution Max archive right here. The contents of the folder by default are in the TigerSA Server dash version number, whether it's a snapshot or not, and then the build. If we extract it by default, it prevents us from overriding older installations of TigerSA. However, since this is the first version of TigerSA that we'll be using, let's go ahead and make a new directory on the C drive named TigerSA. And then just extract the archive structure into that folder. Once extraction is finished, go into the WinStuff folder and run the setup batch file. This will move any files from the WinStuff folder into the proper directories so TigerSA can be used in the Windows environment. Once this process is finished, you'll see a number of executables in the main TigerSA directory. Let's run the run.batch file to launch TigerSA from a Java command line. First run might take longer than usual as it has to set up a Derby database in order to run. Once you see the dumping server configuration warning in the console window, you'll know that TigerSA is running and is ready for you to connect to the server. Let's go ahead and connect to the setup connector by opening a browser. In this case, we'll connect to localhost 8080 forward slash setup. And this will bring us to the setup page. First we'll enter a company if we happen to have one. And this will confirm our licenses for any commercial software. Here we may load a configuration file from an external file. Going to the basic, we'll list our domains. I want to select Derby. However, you may select MySQL, PostgreSQL, SQL Server, or set up some others. And we'll also check Advanced Configuration Options. In Advanced Configuration Options, we can turn on or off components, change whether we want to use cluster configuration or any of the commercial ACS components, and if we want any specific settings for debug. Now we're selecting features and plugins. By default, everything is turned on. Next, we'll need the Derby database password and username. Finally, TigerSA will set up our database and we'll receive a notification that everything looks okay. Here we can make any changes to our HTTP REST API configuration by specifying a specific key, allowing open access, or deciding that it's forbidden. In this case, we're just going to use a custom API key using 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
Next, it will build your init.properties file. Clicking Save will save this file. Installation is finished. We may now close the program. Closing this window will shut down the program. Be sure to allow some time for a proper and clean shutdown. At this time, if you decide to install TigerSA as a Windows service, you may use the Install TigerSA Service Windows Batch file. This will install TigerSA as a service. And once that is completed, we can bring up the Windows Services panel. And it will be located under TigerSA XMPP Server. At this point, you may use the Services Console or an automatic startup type to run TigerSA Server. When running TigerSA in this mode, or in any mode that uses the wrapper exe, the wrapper.log will replace your console log. However, TigerSA logs will still operate in the same fashion using TigerSA.log.0.1 and so on. This concludes the installation instructions for TigerSA server using Web Installer on a Windows system.